Hey everybody, this is the Tech Buyers Guru. I'm at the Zotac booth checking out their new line of gaming systems. Zotac is building uh, these new ITX based systems using their custom proprietary motherboards. Zotac used to be a big supplier of Zotac of, of, of ITX boards in the retail market. They no longer do that, but luckily they're still designing ITX motherboards that go into some of their cases. And this is a brand new system. Um, this isn't out yet, coming out Q2. Uh, this is uh, essentially the same case here. This is coming out in Q1. This has a 7th gen Intel processor and a 1070 Ti GPU. Coming out in Q2 is the 8th gen Intel model. This is of course going to have up to an 8700K and a GTX 1080 video card. One of the issues, of course, for Zotac, as well as everyone, was supply of Intel processors. The Coffee Lake processors launched in October were in very short supply. And that is why this model is coming out in Q2, despite the fact that, in theory, the 8700K is already available. Uh, Zotac wants to kind of develop a uh, recognition of this new model line, and that is why they're launching it with 7th Series first. You can see that. It has uh, RGB cycling that's controlled through Zotac Spectra software, which you can see on this screen here. It allows full control of the RGB effects on the case. So continuing on at the Zotac booth, there are some fantastic mini systems on display. This is their new Magnus EK7-1080 with a GTX 1080 mini desktop video card and a Core i7 7700HQ processor. Moving on down the line, we have some more prototypes. Particularly eye-catching is this C1660 Nano using a Core i7 8550 quad-core processor with a passively cooled heatsink system. That is simply amazing. Here we have Zotac's other silent fanless systems. These are even smaller. They are using the Intel Celeron line of processors, N3450 and N4100. And perhaps the most amazing of all are the smallest systems down the line. We have the M1660, which uses up to a Core i7-8550U quad-core processor. This is not passively cooled. That's how they got it so small. Notice that it's actually smaller than their passively cooled Celeron systems, and yet it has a quad-core i7. That is simply fantastic. Zotac was particularly proud to unveil its new Magnus with 8th gen Intel processors. This is not yet available. This is going to be using up to a GTX 1080 mini video card. It had to be custom built uh, by Zotac. This is not going to be a retail 1080 mini. It's a single fan model because their dual fan model was actually too big for this chassis. Also on board will be a Core i7-8700 processor.